Diary Vlog 57 228 p.m. Sunday 20th of October Weather 21 degrees outside Dear Diary Well I don't really need to pretty much uh, repeat myself in terms of how the fucking day started Cause start pretty shitty you know I wasn't able to sleep there's a point where the fucking bullshit has gone to me I literally got up way much earlier like two hours fucking early from my alarm and stuff you know and to make things even worse and to make things even worse my entire fucking mind and body were already getting worse and worse I'm supposed to stay right but no I've had a pre I had a pre fucking commonsensical insight where if I literally skip today and I'm not able to sleep then it's gonna be a huge fucking waste then I, then at the same time I'm gonna be going there I'm fucked so at both ways I'm fucked so let's get fucked up with dignity and get there for the sake of the fucking attendance. You know? And then comes in the uh, and then comes in the college day. Going on the bus trying to sleep, going to the college all the way to my classroom, try to sleep again. But no fucking avail. There's like no single, no single fucking pixel for me to be able to, to rest at this point. It's like my entire body is trying to fucking deliberately murder me. My fucking body is deliberately fucking murdering me. Like what the fuck? Might as well just have my body throw me off a fucking cliff or some shit. Cause. Bruh, if this dies, I'm gonna fucking entirely die. Like, come the fuck on, man. And with two pills instead of one godforsaken pill. And nothing has fucking worked. It's like, bruh, how am I supposed to even function if this is gonna keep on fucking happening? From the days of the holidays into the fucking... Into the fucking college days. How the fuck am I supposed to function with this bullshit? And well, as a natural goddamn result, I have been losing my focus as well as losing my goddamn sanity. And I have went onto retarded mode. At least onto the sec and to the second lecture. But then after that second lecture something really peculiar happened where literally one of those one of those ass hats one of those three ass hats in my class in the class were fucking were fucking literally telling me to stop doing that and in the middle of explaining why the fuck I can't stop that simply simply put I have fucking lashed out and lashed out with pretty much all of my inner fucking thoughts. I literally been and pretty much connecting my my pretty much my entire thoughts with my lashed out voice and in front of the, in front of our building and in front of other people looking at me and everything. I was I have it's safe to say that I've completely fucking lost it. And completely lashed out at someone in what is close enough to be a fucking mad, you know. And at this point, it isn't really a surprise for some people, at least for for anyone who is watching this, you know. It isn't going to be any surprise because I've already gone mad way long time ago when I have been, you know. Having simple feelings for a goddamn child that I didn't know that it was a fucking child. 
or I was so mad to think that I can have any kind of decent audience and have us some goddamn quality time with with a role player or for me to be so mad to literally just you know continue with a little bit of role play sex with a goddamn child that I you know that I just couldn't control and I was also so mad to think that I would still have a place. So, past experiences aside, it is safe to say that I have, like, pretty much gone mad. Like, completely mad. But not to the point where I have to be fucking sent to the mental hospital. No. I should just be put out of commission of pretty much everything. Education, work army, every, pretty much every single responsibility I should be put out of commission of course. But then, who's gonna hold the responsibility? Who's gonna pay? Who, how are you gonna get money? That's the neat part. You fucking don't. You fucking don't get money. You fucking don't get a job. You fucking don't learn. You fucking don't make any fucking sense. While you do any of this. Why? Because your entire humanity. And, and your entire fucking sanity. Is going to be lost. By the time you're fucking 20. Mix that up with parents. Constantly berating. And judging you. For things that are so fucking natural. And so fucking petty. Such as passing marks at school. And they always want the fucking top just because you are quote unquote smart. That is something that they should have shoved it up their ass long time ago. Because if they did, I would have performed much better and maybe even more. But no. No, no. We have to make every fucking final a fucking hell. Mix that up with more shitty experiences from school slash college and mix that up with more shitty experiences with the fucking social media and all the controversies that I have ever been into and every single video game and every single fucking anime franchise and all of this that was completely fucking destroyed utterly fucking done destroyed because of social media everything up until this point it has been a fucking huge factor onto making me what I am and eventually I have became what I am this fucking universe had made me like this can I change it too fucking late for a change unless some fucking miracle befalls upon me and lets me reset my entire fucking life from the start or a time machine where I can go back in time and literally fix everything in all seriousness I've lost it I've just lost it when I've lashed out and of course a scene has happened security were trying to take me and I have been sitting for like quite a quite half an hour and eventually I was able to get out, go to the appointment to one of the teachers at the very least, and eventually I bought myself bought myself some food and got my ass out of here. Back home. And you know the fuck what? It feels good to be home. Cause really I I just can't. I just fucking can't with this entire thing anymore. I just can't with education anymore. So all what had to happen is literally put a single dumbass who I have fucking explained my goddamn point to like millions of times on the fucking phone. And then he and then he brings it up 
and literally becomes an asshole about it, you know? So that's all what you need when you're literally straight away just making a fucking near erupt, making a f fucking fully near erupted volcano to burst up and fucking, you know, explode all the way at your fucking face in every single corner. Seriously, how would, how, how is it even logical? And how is that supposed to be an advice? Like, bro, I don't need your stupid fucking input to literally tell me whether it's gonna happen or not. And you know the fuck what? Even if there are some stupid regulations about this shit, I don't give a flying fuck. Okay, I'm as a person am already, already down in the fucking bottom of the barrel. I'm already a fucking outcast. A fucking entire outcast. And almost a fucking outcast in my entire family. And a fucking outcast from a community that once had fucking supported me. At least the online communities. So in all seriousness, how in the flying fuck does he want me to be normal when I just can't? I'm so stressed. I'm so fucking full. My entire body is dying on me. My mind is dying on me. And I can't even fucking sleep or get some rest. <laughs> like, bro. How? <sighs> really? Like, again, the things that you do just to get yourself into another responsibility is more than enough to literally piss me off, you know? And honestly, I don't really give a fuck anymore. Because I've already lost. The damage has been done. From way back in like fucking 2015 or 2016. All the way to our present time. There is just no way that my life can be fixed again, you know? Some people may disagree. Whether it's based upon it's based upon their experiences with me, or at least or with emotion. Like I could like at that part I can appreciate it, but let's be real. I fucking suck. I fucking suck. I couldn't keep. I couldn't literally tell a, a single girl. I couldn't apologize to a girl and confess like how I fucking planned way back in the day. I couldn't keep a healthy friendship without literally having, without literally having them fucking hate me later on. I couldn't keep a fucking steady, you know. I fucking left a, an entire community just for another community that eventually fucking outcasted me and then I come back to the old community and I found out that they have already fucking outcasted me before I even came back and finally I I still don't have a fucking girlfriend you know and eventually I and lastly of course, I couldn't, I couldn't have fucking graduate like everyone else. These past four years, I would, I was supposed to be at the fucking, serving the fucking army by now. And after ending my goddamn year in there, I was supposed to be into a job. Bottom line, I'm a scum of the earth. I just suck. Yeah. It is sad to think about this. Some would say that it's wrong. And some would say that there is a chance. But is it going to be based upon evidence or just a stupid ass general think or emotion? Because again, 
I'm done fucked up, my guy. I'm finished. I'm already finished. The months are gonna progress, and I'm gonna still fail. And when I fail, I'm gonna be wasting pretty much all of my credits. All of my educational credit. To literally, you know, to literally redo the fucking course. And when I redo that entire fucking course, I would still fucking fail in it. And eventually, I would have to redo an entire fucking year. So every, so every single penny that was ever spent, every single time I've had to wake up early, walk all the way to the fucking bus, and then get into the college and spend my time in it, wait for the bus and everything. In other words, all the time, effort, and money it's gonna be for absolutely nothing. Be and based on what? Based on all the fucking bullshit experiences that I've had back at my college days. And based on my entire fucking reaction and my, how I, and you know, how everything has even started from the, from the past three months. Put all of that together, and there's your proof. There's your proof that I sucked back then, and I suck now. Did anyone need to hear this? Nope. Do, do anyone even need to watch this? Nope. Do anyone need to care? Nope. But you know what? I don't give a fuck either. If someone, if, some, if at least one person watches, then that's enough for me. If, if at least someone gives a fuck, but doesn't want to, you know, show it or whatsoever, then that's all that matters, you know? So in a way, I kind of want people to give a fuck, but at the same time, I don't give a fuck if people give a fuck or not. It's quite toxic. It's quite a toxic thing, you know. But and some people may think that I'm enjoying this kind of thing. Believe me, I do not enjoy this kind of thing. I fucking despise what I am. I fucking despise how I have became. I fucking despise how my life had literally contributed into this very fucking moment that I am in right now. I fucking hate how all of my choices, whether it's small or big, had fucking led me to this entire fucking place, this very fucking moment, and this entire fucking year in general. Believe me, with all my heart, I fucking despise what I have became. I have literally... But then, I just couldn't control it, and will never be able to control it, because... I've been forced. I've been forced. And even to stand up for myself in the middle of most of this stuff was, was not even an option for me. It was not even an option for me to stand up. Because if I did, I would have been fucked up even more 10 feet under. Like, it's like punishments keep on getting worse. So, resist or not, you're still getting fucked up. It is that fucking bad. It is that fucking bad. And again, do I like doing this kind of stuff? Absolutely not. But I have to. I really need to let off my emotions. So that I can at least go on with my day. Without lashing out any at anyone else. Or breaking anything else. Or fucking killing myself. Yeah. I'm just a... I'm just a gamer. Just a guy who just 
still wants to play games, and still wants to watch anime, and wants to do anything else that is not fucking education or responsibility related anymore. I'm not a man. I'm a pussy. An entire giant pussy. A giant walking pussy on ours. That must be fucking destroyed. I may speak I may be speaking like a like a Native American or a Native British or whatever, but I'm an Egyptian. And because of that I'm a Muslim. So our religions are different, are completely different. Like literally completely different, you know. So and at this point anyone so just have it I kinda have to had have had to point that out but fuck I can't even speak. I've had to point that out in, in case anyone is about to give me some reference to to what reference to something from Christianity because I'm afraid that Christianity doesn't work with a uh, fucking Muslim. I'm gonna have to be converted to that kind of religion so that I can, you know, so that I can be able to relate to that. And converting to and converting religions is not an option. Once you're born with being a Muslim, you're gonna have to stay as a Muslim. Otherwise, you're going straight to hell. That is like another golden rule that shouldn't be broken. No matter what. Aside of every other rule that are being broken constantly, that is one that shouldn't be broken. At least in our religion. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Man. It's just... It's just so fucking ridiculous, you know? It's just fucking ridiculous. Everything about the entire fucking life up until now is just ridiculous and outrageous. I guess, and well, opinions, opinions are... Opinions can differ about this, you know, but like, I just can't. And the fact that I wasn't able to sleep again for like at least three weeks, like, the fact that I'm not able to sleep for fucking three weeks, and even though I'm taking a, a solid, what used to be a solid fucking medication that would literally make me sleep like a vlog is just like I'm taking two fucking pills at night and no fucking effect not even the gradual you know falling to sleep kind of thing is happening not even a thing not even when I've been watching Chow Mix Chow Mix's video about the worst way to play Sonic games not not even that make me sleep. Not even the longest videos that are supposed to be half boring and half interesting are making me sleep anymore. Like come the fuck on when I was what back at my road trip at fucking Saint Catherine when I was watching AVGN's Goonies 2 video I was fucking going to sleep. I was literally finding myself closing my eyes most of the time. Like, what the fuck, man? Is my body now Im- immune, completely immune to any kind of rest? Is that some kind of a, another terrible joke made by God? Because because of this bullshit, I can't sleep, I can't focus. Like, what the fuck, man? 
What's all this energy coming from, my guy? And what is it for? Seriously, it's fucking horrible. What were he was he thinking? What? Like seriously, it's fucking horrible. And for that, me and my sister are gonna have to be going to the fucking clinic tomorrow. And pray to God that they actually do something about it, because... God fucking Lord, this... It's just outrageous. Really, really outrageous. <sighs> so yeah, most of you get what is happening by now. I suck, I became mad completely lost it and yeah I am probably beyond repair for most people right now. <sighs> well hopefully but seriously I really need this to be turned around for the better because if this progress is any more I'm completely fucked as how I predict. But then again, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I've lost it. Well, I'm just gonna end this here. As always, keep me in your prayers and. Yeah. Fuck my life. Farewell.